It's me again. Well, I decided to paint the gray portion of the panniers and the, the lid for my top box. But I wanted to match the paint, so I went to Home Depot and I found a fluorescent green that looks like a really good match. That is going to be so awesome. I painted the inside of the top case first. In case it didn't match, nobody would notice. I will be back in a moment. Well, that's drying, which is going to look totally awesome up here. I have made a discovery that's going to make my life and your life so much easier. And I've not seen anybody say this on YouTube. I don't know why they haven't said it, mainly because they probably throw these stock panniers away. And they are thin plastic, to be honest. You One good knock and they're going to be broken. But I want to paint this green like that. It comes off. Two screws on the bottom, it comes right off. Whoever designed this is brilliant. Now we can paint this without having to mask off this whole thing and get it all shot with overspray. And I am very happy. Well, I thought this was going to be done today. But I was painting one of the uh, covers to the pannier and I dropped it. And it's like the, the buttered bread rule. If you drop buttered bread, it always lands butter side down well. When you drop something that's been painted, it always lands paint side down. So now I have to sand it, but it's got to dry for another two or three hours before I can sand it. Then I got to sand it and make it look somewhat smooth and then paint it again. It's not, I'm not happy, but the results are pretty good. I don't know if you can see that in the video, um, but I'm not done painting it, so I'll do an, I'll, another video of that when I'm done with it. But this one is the, the left side pannier, and it came out phenomenal that is incredible i don't know if, with the light if you can even see it so i'll get up close and see if you can see it but that looks incredible i'm so happy with the color the paint's not great it tends to splat i know you start painting here you spray across your project you stop painting but when it splats halfway through that there's nothing you can do about it it just irritated me so but i'm not a paint and body guy so that's the best I could do, but that looks really good. All right, I know in the light you can't see anything because the sun is out and everything in here is dark. There we go. So if you're digging the color, which I am for that matter, really digging it. Really dig how that looks on there. So if you're digging this color, I got it at Home Depot. It is Rust-Oleum Fluorescent Bright Neon Color Green, obviously. And it seems to be a pretty good match. Like I showed you, it seems to be a pretty good match with the green that's on the bike. Maybe a little more bright and fluorescent, but it's a fluorescent color. Uh, Home Depot Rust-Oleum. I fixed the one that had been dropped. I uh, did a pretty good job. It turns out, since it's plastic, the paint doesn't stick well when it's not completely dry. So I just removed all the paint from the top. I didn't do it from the sides because they were good. So there's a little rough spot there. I'll survive. But that's going to look so good on this bike. That green is really going to accent well. I'll make some green stickers. i got to find a place to put Hatchet Man. I haven't figured that out yet. Oh well. That was a good day. Bye. Well, on the bike. Looks really good. And with that success, I'm thinking about painting these green and these little panels here green. If I could keep the camera on it, this green and this green just to break up the, the black and gray. <sighs> That's actually, it might not be a bad idea. I'm not going to do it today. I'm also thinking, since it would be a simple job, is to paint this plastic housing here green. I would have to pull this emblem and reattach it. And it's probably glued on, so I would have to figure a way to reattach it. But that green on this black, to here to black, to green to black, to green, I think 
that would look really cool. Of course, if I do it and it doesn't look cool, I'm stuck with it, but whatever. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens.